A few months ago, I purchased this Melville Clark Orpheus player pump organ on eBay. And when I got it, it was missing the take-up spool. And this organ would have played 58 note rolls originally, but I don't have any of those and they're fairly scarce. So with the uh, take-up spool missing anyway, I found an old one in my pile of parts and um, cut it down to fit Aeolian Grand Rolls and got that in here so it's in place. And then I made a couple modifications, uh, the upper chuck here to fit the slotted end of the uh, Grand Roll and then I fit a small brass cup into the spring-loaded end of the, the upper box there uh, to hold the pin. So I've now got it set up so that it can play uh, Aeolian Grand Rolls. Of course, everything is completely reversible. I've got all the, the parts and pieces to put it back the way it was. So up in this compartment, you have all the pouches. They still have their original leather on there. I'd pull one out, but this tubing down here is uh, hard as macaroni, so that would break and cause a major problem and I'm not quite ready to rebuild this right now but um, because the leather of course is original it's a little more porous than it was when new so I put tape across the bleeds and then poked new bleed holes with a pin to reduce the amount of bleed a little bit. There are two sets of pneumatics this set here along the back controls one set of reeds and then there's another set on the front of the organ that controls all the rest of the reeds. There's a cloth hinge up here, and this end is held in place with a leather nut on a threaded stem so that to service these or clean them, you just remove the leather nut and lift everything up. There's the hole that supplies the vacuum. There's no spring inside there, it's just gravity that causes the uh, pallet or the pneumatic to, to seal the hole again after the note is played. So I'll put it um, back together and we'll play a song on it. 